the Katanga and Conti Alumni Associations held a series of discussions with the Vice Chancellor, as mentioned above, and proposed viable solutions to accommodation problem being faced by the students. The Katanga alumni even brought down an estate developer resident in the USA, as well as some architects to present some plans, but the management did not budge. And, thus, and this gives us the cause to believe that the real intention of the management is not to increase the number of females on campus, but to destroy the age-old tradition and brand of Katanga. The Contis also have similar plans in the pipeline, provided the management will cooperate with us. Professor Gwesiyanka, we hereby totally condemn the open support and unfortunate remarks of Professor Kwesiyanka, the Minister of State in charge of tertiary education. And it's sad that, you know, he is in a progressive government like uh, NPP. He is on record to have traveled all the way from Accra to Kumasi at the expense of the taxpayer, in quotes, to go and see for himself whether it is true that Katanga had indeed been converted into a mixed hall. He also called, or called on other universities to be bold to do the same on their various campuses. The minister in the 21st century pathetically believes that turning all male halls and all female halls in our universities, as well as all boys' schools and all girls' schools into mixed ones, is one sure way of solving education problems. And this is sad indeed. We leave it to the good people of Ghana to judge. We, as Katanga and Conti Alumni Associations, shall not relent on our oars, but shall continue to resort to all available legal and acceptable means to ensure that the accommodation problems on KNUSD are solved in a better, more pragmatic, and more sustainable way. The time shall surely come indeed. <laughs>